What up players, it's Warbots Stay Up in this mug. Today we're doing a video unboxing of this Warhammer Beastman Bray Shaman. So it comes in a plastic clamshell. There you can see the instructions for how to assemble it. One frame, so you've got a base, the two halves of the, uh, the cloak, the two legs, the torso, and uh, the one arm holding the staff is also connected to the head and the left hand. So here's a little bit more of a closer detail shot. This is also going to be a July Painting Challenge 2014 video appreciation for O oh Wise Owl. And I decided to do this because O oh Wise Owl's project this year was to take a force of beastmen and to paint them in a very unconventional style, which was to say uh, blue and they look really really good so if you have not seen it I'm gonna put a video link a link to the video in the description below and you can check it out such I mean like amazing progress to see it go from this concept that he had to do these blue beastmen into actually creating them and painting them up and they, they looked really really great so oh wise owl thank you for joining the challenge this is his second year last year he did another very unconventional project he did uh, plague bearers Nurgle plague bearers but instead of doing the standard gray or rotting flesh or a uh, normal Nurgle kind of colors he went with pink which was really interesting and so uh, he's a very creative guy and uh, I always love following his projects so go check it out you can see that I'm using Citadel's plastic glue and I'm using the thick one uh, the reason is because I didn't bring my Model Master's plastic cement from Hawaii. I thought that I could be able to pick it up here and I didn't want to take it on the plane and um, I, I just thought I'd be able to pick it up here and none of the hobby shops that I've been to so far have it here so maybe I just haven't been looking in the right places but uh, the one hobby store that I did go to had this plastic glue from Citadel and uh, it's, it's thick so it's almost like the consistency of a very thick super glue and I, I think it would really be good for like vehicles but for small connecting points like single figures uh, I really miss the thin metal applicator I think it was even you know what I think it was Oy Zowl who t turned me on to the Model Masters plastic cement I believe it was uh, two years ago with his Nurgling project. I remember seeing him using the applicator and and I, th I think if, if this is if my memory serves me correct and I'm not uh, I'm not totally crazy right now I remember thinking that oh, that's that looks like really easy to use and you don't have to worry about the nozzle and the glue getting all gunky and stuff so uh, yeah I really miss it if you have model masters plastic cement or any kind of plastic glue with a very thin uh, nose applicator then uh, that's the way to go. So I'm building up this character in a very unconventional way. I'm going with the the clamshell instruction says start with the base and then the second piece is the leg and it attaches to the torso as well as the base and I decided well let's see, let me see what it looks like if I attach the two legs to the base and then I try to glue the torso on. In hindsight I would not do this again I would start like I would normally do by gluing the legs to the torso instead. It makes it a lot easier, you don't have to worry about things leaning in a different weird way and, and look I'm clapping at myself like oh yeah I'm so smart. No, no Warbaste, you should not have done that. So this is uh, live and you're gonna see me using, well I'm, I'm not live, I actually filmed this last night but what I meant to say is real time that I'm going to clip these guys out, the pieces out, I'm going to clean up the mold lines and the flash and glue it right in real time so you can see how long it took me to get this figure built. The uh, unfortunate thing is that for a new hobbyist you're going to see me using my hobby knife and cutting in towards myself which is generally frowned upon uh, but I've been doing it for so long I think I've kind of figured out how to do it where it, I won't cut myself. Um, I just I can't do a video where I'm cutting away because I'm not used to it and if I cut away from myself like I'm supposed to I'm I'm just afraid that I might gouge out a, a 
a lot more than I, I need to than the flash and I'm just cleaning up flash and mold lines and I, I want to do a good job you know so uh, Beastmen Chaos Chaos Beastmen have kind of reared their their goat like heads in the Storm of not Storm of Chaos what am I talking about in the End Times book the Glotkin book I believe there's options to include Beastmen into your Chaos armies so that they can get that big boost because they uh, are not, from for all intents and purposes, from everything that I've been reading on the rules, they're they're not very, uh, they're not very good in this edition, and so I don't even know if they have a hardcover book. I know Bretonians don't. Yeah, is it Beastmen that that still have a soft cover book? I remember they were one of the last books in in seventh edition right before the rollover into 8th, so everybody was really like, oh, the Beastman rules is probably going to give us a hint of what to expect in 8th edition, but yeah, they've kind of been left on the, on the sidelines. Uh, I, you don't see many Beastman players, well, you don't see many Warhammer Fantasy players at all, but I think Beastman is one that I don't think I've ever seen, even back when I lived in Hawaii. Alright, just trimming and cleaning mold lines, a very tedious process to do, but necessary. Nothing worse than building up your model and ignoring the mold lines and painting it and then looking at your model and seeing all that flash and all the mold lines and little nubs. It's just gross. Okay, so if I was a smart war boss and I wasn't running on like 10 minutes of sleep when I filmed this, I would have probably let it dry. I would have shut off the camera, gone to sleep, let it dry, come back in the morning. But because I'm Speedy Gonzalez and I want to get this thing done in one sitting, I decided that I was going to take out the cape as well. Now the tricky thing with the cape, or the cloak, or no it's not a cloak because it doesn't have a hood, the cape, oh it does have a hood. Yeah, I just I just forgot because it's got these those big massive horns. I forget that the Bray Shaman does have a hood. Uh, this cloak, I guess it it comes in two parts. So it also has uh, this right side here has his his right arm on it. So the the best places to put the glue would have been in the the uh, shoulder joint and in where the wrist meets the forearm. I didn't do that. And I didn't glue, I didn't put glue in the wrist, and that's probably what makes this piece so wonky for me. What I thought of doing instead was gluing down the line of the, the uh, cloak so that it can line up to the left side, but without anchoring the piece at the wrist, which I should have done, what it does is it creates it a, a lot more range of movement for it. And, and it's not, I don't want to say dangerous, but it's, it's bad news for the model if your model's all wobbly while you're trying to glue it down and then the glue dries at a certain angle that you didn't want it to or even worse uh, you have to pull the pieces apart because the glue isn't sticking and then you've got a, a layer of dried glue that you have to scrape off if you want to create a good solid bond. Oh man, a new Hobbit movie comes out on Wednesday. Or Thursday? I, I don't remember. It's a weird day of the week. But very excited for that. Did any of you guys see uh, on the Stephen Colbert show the other night? They had Smaug. They, they, I guess they CGI'd him and he interviewed Smaug the dragon. That was pretty funny. Okay, like I said, this is a tough bit over here the left side of the cloak to put on. I can see where they tried to make it look more like a part of the model by uh, using the top area where the fur trim is to create a very jagged and a raggedy looking piece of cloth but with the, a, a join right down the middle there it is it is a little tricky to get correct. But there you go. So thanks for watching everybody, go check out Owise Owl and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Latest players!